Let's start with a soft introduction to gRPC and then explain this diagram. So gRPC is a modern communication framework designed to allow different services to communicate efficiently over a network, and it enables one application to call functions on another application, even if they are running in different environments or written in different programming languages. This makes it ideal for distributed systems where multiple services need to work together. gRPC uses protocol buffers, or protobuf, for fast data exchange and HTTP2 to ensure reliable communication. In this diagram, we have a gRPC server written in Java, which communicates with various clients using the gRPC framework. So we have the gRPC server, which is a Java service, and it's the central component. It listens for requests from clients and processes them according to the server's business logic. The clients are indicated on the right. The gRPC server interacts with different types of clients, which can be written in various programming languages. We have a JavaScript service. We have an Android Java client, which is a client for Android written in Java. And we have a C-sharp.net client, which is a client built using C-sharp in the .NET framework. Each client also has a gRPC stub. So this gRPC stub acts as a proxy for the server. It allows the client to make remote procedure calls or RPCs to the server as though they were local function calls, which simplifies the communication process. Proto request and responses. So clients send proto requests, which are serialized using protocol buffers, and the server responds with proto responses. This ensures that data is exchanged efficiently and in a format that can be understood by all parties, regardless of the language that they're written in. So in summary, the diagram shows how gRPC enables seamless communication between services written in Java, JavaScript, Android Java, and c -sharp, ensuring that they can exchange data efficiently using protocol buffers. Now let's do a deeper dive into gRPC. So as I mentioned before, gRPC, or gRPC Remote Procedure Calls, is an open source framework that's developed by Google that enables communication between services in a distributed system. It's designed to facilitate fast, reliable, and efficient communication across different platforms and languages. So now I'll provide a breakdown of some key features. Number one is the remote procedure call or RPC model. So gRPC follows the RPC model, allowing one program to directly call methods or procedures on a server in a different system as if it were a local function. Number two is protocol buffers or protobuf. So gRPC uses protocol buffers, which is a language neutral, platform neutral mechanism for serializing structured data. So protobuf is lightweight and fast and makes it ideal for data exchange between these services. Number three is cross language compatibility. So gRPC supports multiple programming languages, including Go, Python, Java, C++, Ruby, and more as listed in this diagram. And it makes it ideal for polyglot environments where services may be written in different languages. Number four is bi-directional streaming. gRPC supports different types of communication models. Number one is unary RPC, in which the client sends a single request and receives a single response. Number two, server streaming RPC. The client sends a request and the server streams multiple responses. Number three is client streaming RPC, in which the client sends multiple requests and the server responds once after processing. And number four is bi-directional streaming RPC. Both the client and the server can send a stream of messages to each other in real time. Another feature is HTTP2 transport. gRPC uses HTTP2 as its underlying transport protocol, which enables multiplexing of multiple requests on a single TCP connection, built-in support for request and response compression, and lower latency and higher performance compared to older protocols like HTTP 1.1. It also provides authentication and security. So gRPC supports advanced authentication mechanisms such as TLS or transport layer security, making it secure for use in distributed systems where data privacy and integrity are essential. And finally, 
it provides efficient communication. So gRPC's use of protobuf combined with HTTP2 leads to efficient communication between microservices, making it a popular choice for high-performance, low-latency applications. So in summary, gRPC is a modern communication framework that simplifies building distributed systems by providing fast, efficient, and secure communication between services across different platforms and different languages.